this was faster than me and I'm definitely not grumpy about it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so by now, all of y'all should have seen that Harris made an announcement that he is leaving Twitch to go stream full time over on YouTube, which I mean, honestly, we kind of all saw coming, but at the same time, did we really? Oh, get out of here. But I know for most of y'all exactly what's going to happen. You're going to ask yourself, should I move to YouTube streaming too? So I wanted to make this video just to clarify a couple of things to help y'all decide whether or not you should stream on YouTube as well. I definitely don't need another mixer fiasco. So first off, let's talk about Harris's experience with YouTube. This dude has actually made a lot of YouTube channels. He's had experience with creating a lot of different kinds of produced video content here on YouTube. Harris has made thousands of videos and he has had time to grow his skill set to be able to create really awesome videos like the burn the boats one that he just made, which Harris, by the way, when were you gonna tell me you're such a great storyteller? However, if you're a small Twitch streamer, you likely don't have the skill set of making YouTube videos. You're probably relatively experienced and comfortable with streaming live to an audience, but that is a completely different skill than making a video for YouTube. Some of the things that you do will transfer, but not everything is going to, and the average Twitch streamer usually has a really high learning curve to figuring out YouTube content. This means you can't just jump from Twitch, even if you've been streaming on Twitch for three or four or five years, and expect to do really well and succeed over on YouTube just because it's a different platform. Now, it definitely helps if you understand what your skills are, what your strengths and weaknesses are, and what kind of content you want to create and who you want to create it for, which is something that Harris has just completely nailed. On his main alpha gaming channel, he knows that he is speaking specifically to streamers, and so the way that he creates content there is going to be very different from his Harris Heller channel. But you have to figure that out for yourself, which is why I've created a free workbook for you with the six exercises that I used to figure out this process for myself as well. Another reason this move is going to be easier for Harris than it would be for a small streamer is because he already has an audience. The dude already has evidence of being a very successful YouTuber. And so the fact that he has grown this massive audience, I mean, this dude could, someone in our Discord said he could take his jawline anywhere and be successful. <laughs> Now, that being said, you don't necessarily need to have a ton of YouTube success in order to stream on YouTube and be successful with that. There was somebody in our chat today, I just got done streaming, by the way, there was somebody in our chat today whose wife had only live streamed on YouTube. She didn't create any video content for the platform at all, and she had just hit 10,000 subscribers after like a year and a half. That's pretty freaking good, but I'm sure if I looked into it, her live stream skill is probably pretty high. She can probably relate to people really well. She's probably pretty charismatic. And not everyone is quite to that level yet to be able to see that success. Which of course is totally fine. We're all on different journeys. Well, we're all at different points in those journeys. So don't, you know, don't be offended by that. You can still get where you want to go. It just takes a little bit of time and you have to learn a little more. Now, even though Harris has decided to completely leave Twitch for YouTube, this has some people thinking that diversification isn't necessary important. So we need to talk about diversification versus focus. There has been a lot of research that has shown that whenever we focus on one thing at a time, human beings are just much more productive. We get more done. Believe it or not, friend, you're terrible at multitasking. So Harris does have an advantage here in that he is giving himself the ability to focus on a single platform, which means he gets to reserve a lot of his brain power to focus all of his time and energy and attention on that one platform. He does lose a little bit of diversification because he isn't on Twitch anymore. So how could that potentially affect his brand, right? Well, YouTube could still change their algorithms someday, or maybe his content stops performing as great as it used to. 
These things can happen, and if he were building himself up on Twitch and on YouTube at the same time, his Twitch could still be a space for him that could potentially be really successful, even if he started to lose some of his success over on YouTube. And with the average streamer, I would be really concerned about this, but I think Harris and his team are so knowledgeable with YouTube that they will be able to weather the changes that are going to happen to the platform. Harris also has a lot of privilege because of how successful he is. He can take a $5,000 or $10,000 a month hit to try something a little new and different with his brand, and that's not a huge hit for him. But for many small streamers, that would be. Completely derailing the momentum that you've got on Twitch, for some of us, could do irreparable damage to our careers. But really, I think the biggest thing is that Harris just has data. He's got data and evidence that he's been successful on YouTube already, and more than likely, that means that if he invests more time into YouTube and focuses on it more, he will be able to succeed even more so than he has been. The average streamer who has barely tried YouTube at all or who hasn't seen a lot of evidence of success for their own YouTube channel till this point doesn't have a ton of data to work from to decide whether or not they should leave YouTube. So for those of y'all who are in this category, you don't have evidence of large momentum on YouTube yet. My best advice for you is to wait. Use what you're currently doing on your Twitch stream to build momentum over onto your YouTube channel. Get your audience, however big or small it is, to watch your videos, subscribe to you, and if you're an affiliate, try streaming one day a week over on YouTube. There's really no reason why you can't do that. Unless you're just like totally, you don't have a lot of time. But after you've used your stream for a while to build momentum for yourself over on YouTube and you've learned YouTube as a platform more, you feel more comfortable with it, then you can make the decision of totally leaving Twitch to go over and stream on YouTube. But until then, you do not have enough data to be able to safely make this decision. But that being said, I am working on collecting this data for you. So starting on Thursdays, I am going to be live streaming at noon every single Thursday here on YouTube. And I'm doing this specifically because I want to get y'all the information that you need to make this decision of whether or not you should leave Twitch for YouTube. I don't know much about the way that YouTube streaming works. I don't know what to expect from the audience. Are people going to stick in the stream for a long time? Are they going to bounce super quickly? Are the numbers going to be higher or lower? How's it going to affect my business? I don't have any of this information for you yet, and I can't really accurately say for sure whether or not you should leave without that data. So I'm going to be experimenting with YouTube streaming so that I can collect that data for you and help y'all make a better decision because that's really, I mean, my goal with this channel has always been to help you as much as I can. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all on Thursday. Also, go watch this video, okay? Uh, this one is about how to grow on Twitch after affiliate. Maybe I should have said leave Twitch for YouTube in that video. Who knows? <laughs> I'll see y'all over there. Bye!